part of what makes your training more interesting and therefore more effective is the amount of realism that's interjected built into your training. Now this starts with the person delivering the training. Have they done the job role, done the procedure, perform the tasks that are incorporated into this training? If so, being authoritative is going to be very easy. If you're simply presenting information that belongs to somebody else and you've never actually done this job role, perform these procedures, you're going to have to work extra hard to build your authority. Talk to subject matter experts inside your organization, fight for opportunities to maybe go out and perform some of those tasks in some different way, or maybe even think about bringing in some of those subject matter experts to augment your information, augment your presentation. So the authority of the person delivering the material is important. You should also look at the material itself. How connected, relevant, and relatable is it to the day-to-day -day job role? In addition to that, when you build your content, your training program, are you including hands-on activities, games, experiential learning, activities, things like this that are going to really affect success for that particular participant? Is that participant going to walk away with a better understanding of how to be successful in their job role because of the material that you've inculcated, that you've interjected into your training programs? Lastly, when you're thinking about the realism of your training, how much does your training sort of look like the real world activities? How much does the training give them a chance to sort of taste doing the task, doing the job, performing the activity without actually throwing them into the fire and just sort of making them do it? For example, if you're a baker, are you including in your internship programs, your training programs, the ability to actually physically bake some bread before the bread is going to go out into the cabinet for sale out in the shop? If you're in a medical environment, do you have an internship program laid out? Most, most certainly do, but it's that idea of giving people this sort of safe area with a little bit of guardrails on it to start to perform some of these tasks. The realism of your training programs is very important. It not only makes the training more effective, which is the point of doing training, in the short term, it also makes it far more interesting. If you like these tips, go to my LinkedIn profile. You can get daily tips on how to increase the effectiveness of your overall training organization and programs. For longer form content, you can go to the No Boring Training YouTube channel.